Hey everyone, it's Big Z, and welcome back to West of Loathing. So, in between episodes, I went ahead and leveled up, because I did have the automatically spend XP on, but I turned it off for the last episode, so that way I could level up my mysticality. So now that we've done that, we should... Uh, hi. I just, I just wanted to say hi, I guess. Best be getting back to work. Okay, you do that thing. I'll go this way then, so we don't start up enough, another accidental conversation. Um, but yeah, so now we can go over here and hopefully we can fix the... You okay, dude? Obviously not, because you keep saying, ow, oh, ow. This guy looks like he's in a lot of pain. Let's check on him. You okay, buddy? Pretty sure my leg is broken, so no. What happened? Traffic accident? No, it just sort of broke all of a sudden. I guess I don't get enough vitamins or whatever. Good nutrition can be difficult in this day and age. Gonna need some medicine for this. Can you help me? Uh, sure. Thank you. There's a m mission up north. The m nuns there run a little hospital and sell medical supplies. Can you get me some broken leg pills? It's oddly specific, but sure. I'll go do that thing. But real quick. You just lay there in pain and agony while I fix this piano dude real quick. Because I've been wanting to do this for the longest time. There we go. We see what's wrong. You recalibrate some of the springs and rearrange some gears, and the machinery inside starts operating smoothly. The music improves immediately. It's nothing to it, I guess. Only took forever and a half, but we got it done. Okay, so we were gonna go and do the last gang in this episode, but I kind of want to help the dude with the broken leg, not gonna lie. It feels like it'd be a jerk move to just leave him there for longer than necessary. So let's head to the rescue mission. Okay, it looks a little run down. Is he sure that the nuns are here? It's a little cluster of gin blossoms. Sure. Harvest them and get some blossom gin. Okay, let's head inside. Hello. Mayhaps you could help. Oh gosh, a real life nun. Uh, yeah, I'm Sister Tabitha. Mary McCree. What's the- or what's with the cots? I thought she was saying what's the cost, and I'm like, the cost of what? But no, we, we want to know about the cots. Well... What with the cow attacks and so on, I felt my faith would be better served by running this place as a clinic rather than just a church. I also sell medical supplies if you'd like a, your healing to go. Well, yes please, we kind of need it to go since that guy with the broken leg can't go anywhere. Um, can I buy some medical supplies? Broken leg pills. There we go. I got plenty of meat, please. That's pocket change for me. Okay, we'll come up here and see if they need any help later, but for now, let's get back to the other duder. Okay, dude, here's your oddly specific pills. Oh, hello. Were you able to get some broken leg pills? Without them, I'm just stuck and sort of lying here in the street. Here you go. Thanks, man. I feel like a new man again. Or at least the same man with a new leg. That's good. Go drink some milk or something, okay? He waves and happily skips away. That was nice. <laughs> Okay, and there is one other thing I want to do. It was like, technically it was our first objective that we were supposed to do in the game. But I want to talk to this good sir about uh, renting a room. Do do do. Yeah, you have a room? That's right, the finest room in the house. And plenty of room for your partner too. Interested? How much does it cost? Well, that's where you're in luck. The previous tenant was a banker fella and he paid a month in advance right before getting himself killed by bandits. You seem like it, the decent sort, so the room's yours if you want it. Gratis. Great. That's oddly convenient, but you know what? Don't question a gift horse. Just, you know, take what's in its mouth? I don't know. Some sort of saying like that. Oh, there's four wanted posters now. I was about to say, because like the first time we came in here, there was only two, then there was three, and now there's four. How many jail cells are there? One, two, three, four... Technically five. So I guess once we get through like the four main uh, bandit objectives, they'll give us like a weird ghost one. Maybe it's like a Ghostbusters reference. I don't know, but I think we're gonna go ahead and do the House in the Desert gang next for 500 meat. I haven't even been paying attention to the rewards. <laughs> um, but yeah, let's go do this one. Your heart skips a beat as you spy a floating cow skull in the middle distance. It doesn't seem to have noticed you yet. Um, 
go the other direction? No, we can fight it. We can do it. We can do it, we can do it. Kill the cow skull in the head. I mean, it's only a floating head, so we don't really have much choice there. But whatever. Semantics. Let's just kill it. Bam. There we go. All that grinding I did in the last episode actually came in handy. As you dismount and approach the house where the bandits are holed up, you hear a voice from inside say, What was that? Uh-oh. Looks like you're going to have to be sneaky if you want to avoid a full-on fracas. Uh, Sneaky is my middle name. Wait, really? Absolutely. You haven't seen my birth certificate. You can't prove me wrong. Okay, if you say so. Thanks for believing in me. Okay, so we have to be sneaky, you say. Can we, like, go this way? Because I have a feeling the dog... Hopefully it's a dog in the doghouse. Nope, can't go that way. Maybe we can sneak around at the last second? Because I have a feeling that dog is going to give us some trouble. Of course it is. From the sound of it, you'd say the doghouse contains an angry dog. The doghouse contains an angry dog. Weigh your options. Uh, uh, weigh your options? You're not going to be able to get past it without alerting the gang inside the house. Back off for now. I can't... I can't go around the back side of it? God dang it. Oh, that was the other dialogue option. I was like, why does it just repeat itself as one of the options? Because we can be a smartass. Um, okay, fine. Bring them on. We got the jump on them. So, what should we do first? I know you guys can be affected by poison, so I guess we'll whip it. We'll whip it real good, real quick. And then we'll let Susie do the rest of the job. So how do I switch characters? No, that's not what I want. I want to switch to him. There we go. Because he's dying of poison now, so I think we can take him on in the next one. But we can just have Susie wipe this dude out right now. There we go. I'm slowly getting the hang of this. Slowly but surely. Luckily, this game isn't too punishing, so... See, she's that's why she's here. If I don't do well, she finishes the job for me. Is there anything else around here we can mess with? Maybe? Can we go into their house? No? Where'd the dog go? We didn't fight a doggo. I guess he kind of ran off. I guess the gunshot scared him. Okay then, I guess we'll head back to town. So does that mean there's going to be another game we have to take care of? Like, do we have to keep going until all the cells are filled? Hello. Um, give her what's left of the desert house gang. Well, this is, uh, certainly... This a bag of severed ears and teeth and such? Which gang was this? House in the Desert Gang? Take your word for it. Good job. Thanks a bundle! Yep, sure enough. We're gonna have more. I guess we just keep going until all the jail cells are filled. Okay. Well, what else could we do in this episode? I want to do one more thing before I end the episode, so let me look at the map. See where we can wander off to next. Okay, let's go check out the Lazy A Dude Ranch, or Lazy A Dude Ranch. I don't know how you pronounce it, but either way, let's go to this ranch real quick. See what's over there, and then we'll have plenty of stuff to explore in the next episode, and I guess we'll just keep taking care of bandits, because that's really all that's left to do in town. Um, you rein your horse upon hearing a rattle of bones and clanking chains nearby. With a hiss, a skeletal figure scuttles towards you. It's a little confusing to look at. Instead of a skull, it has another smaller skeleton growing at the top of its spine. That's not confusing, that's just terrifying. It also has a manacle... Manacle? A manacle locked around one of its ankles, trailing a length of broken chain. Looks like it escaped from somewhere? Fight it or uh, them or uh, how do you identify out of curiosity? Not meaning to be, you know, rude. I just want to know. Uh, maybe it's still rude. I don't know. Um, we'll fight it. I want to see this thing. Aww. Aww, look at his little dance. He's so cute. Oh, whoops. Could, could I have stopped that maybe if I had acted faster? Probably. Can we po- I forget. Can you poison a skeleton? I guess we'll find out. Yes, yes you can. Shooter! Nope, you're immune to poison. He's like, ha-cha-cha, ha-cha-cha. 
Can't poison me today, ladies. Ha cha cha, ha cha cha. Okay, anyways. In that case, we'll just shoot you dead. Almost dead. Susie, finish the job. <laughs> it's just how every fight goes. It's like, I'm gonna kill you dead. And then it's like, they have like five points of health left. And then it's like, Susie, kill him dead. <laughs> and then we take credit for it and be like, see, I told you I was gonna kill you dead. Maybe not by my own hand, but you know, Susie's part of the gang, part of the team. So when I say I, I mean we, but mostly I. I don't know. Anyways, we won. Twice. Kind of. Weirdly deformed bone. I'm sure there's a use for it somewhere. For something. Okay, so what's in this here ranch? Looks like somebody's been washing ferrets in this thing. I don't want to know how you know that ferrets have been washed in that. Ranch punch, full canteen, ranch dressing. Like a bandage? Like a dressing for wounds? Or like actual ranch dressing for like salads? Either way, gross. <laughs> There's a lady here. Hi lady, can we talk to you? You don't seem very interested in talking. There we go. Hey, like howdy, I'm selling herbal remedies. Care to buy? What kind of herbal remedies? The kind that are gifted to us by Gaia without any interference from human hands. So, weeds? That's a derogatory term caused by man, but yeah, basically. Uh, as, love, as much as I would love to have untainted herbal remedies by human hands or whatever it is you said, I'm gonna pass for now, maybe later. Sup, duder? Howdy. Hey, yeah, howdy, man. What's happening? Uh, yeah, that's kind of what I was wondering. Oh, not much, man. Moved into this little patch of land to grow crops. But when we decided it's more natural to let Gaia grow whatever she wants, right? Who? I bet that's a lot easier, too. Right on, man. Cool. Um, where'd you get that hat? Oh, this? A friend of mine made it, man. I forget which one. Okay, good for you. I don't need that hat. I mean, it looks like an interesting hat, it looks really cool, but I think it suits him better than it would suit me, so. Howdy, I'm Mary. I'm Louise Lathrop. Why the long face, Louise? Aw, oh, geez, basically because I'm stuck here farming with a couple of dummies who don't know how to farm a dang thing. So they just let the weeds grow and call it natural. I am so sick of eating dandelions, I could scream. I didn't know you could eat dandelions, but I would probably scream too if I had to eat them all the time. Um, I mean, it feels rude to ask why don't you just leave, but I'm kind of curious as to why she can't leave. I haven't got any meat or any other prospects or anywhere to go. I mean, dandelions are terrible, but they're better than eating dirt. This is such a mess. Um, how'd you get into this predicament? I headed west after graduating baking school and fell in with these guys because they talked a big game about natural grains. Fool that I was, I didn't realize they were really interested in, all they were really interested in was getting silly on loco weed and not doing any work. So you're looking for work. Gosh, yes, desperately. The only trade I know is baking, though. Do you know somewhere that's hiring a baker? Heck, even unpaid would be better than if than this if it comes with room and board. I just want out of here. I don't, sorry. Uh, shucks. Well, if you hear anything, please let me know. Okay, so we have to go back to town and see if we can find anything for her. So I guess we'll go check out their garden. What a lovely garden it is. Okay. Well, in that case, look at her jamming out. Yeah, rock on. Air drums, I guess. Or guitar? I don't know. I can't quite tell. But either way, I'm gonna go ahead and leave this episode here, and the next episode we'll head back to town. Then I guess after that we can go do more gang fights? I don't know. I don't want to do them too often. Like, I like to have some variety in terms of, like, each episode. So doing, like, one gang fight after the other after the other seems pretty repetitive and pretty boring to watch. Um, but I don't know. Like I said, I'm gonna go ahead and leave this episode here. The next episode we'll head back to town and see what our prospects are in terms of work. But that's gonna be it for this one. 
So of course, I do want to thank you all for watching, and I will see you in our next little adventure. Bye!